planetary exploration has been in the agenda of ISRO for a long time. Uh, as a first move, uh, we have sent the first uh, uh, spacecraft to moon in 2008. Uh, it is called Chandrayaan-1. It carried a host of instruments for monitoring the, the surface features, minerals of the moon, and uh, also depositing the what is called the moon impact probe, which carried Indian national flag to the moon. Uh, this has been a great achievement, and uh, unique finding from this is that there is presence of water in the polar region of the uh, moon. Uh, a follow-up of this is uh, uh, the Chandrayaan-2, in which uh, the spacecraft was sent around the moon, and then again uh, we tried to see a, a rover is uh, uh, taken down using a landing mechanism and uh, try to uh, conduct uh, local experiments by collecting samples and so on. That's Chandrayaan 2. But unfortunately, uh, it has reached uh, only up to about two kilometers above the moon surface. Uh, at the time, there was some small uh, glitch in the uh, landing uh, sequence. And with that result, it has uh, went and impacted on the moon with a big velocity, shattering the entire spacecraft. Uh, so naturally, we had to find out what is the reason for this kind of mishap, why the failure has taken place. All those aspects have been addressed by the ISRO team. And today, a robust uh, Chandrayaan-3 is being uh, prepared for launch, which will go in within about 24 hours from now and uh, we hope that it will have a successful landing. It is an extremely complex mission. The GSLE Mark III is being used for this purpose, on which uh, a spacecraft, uh, which will have the orbiter as well as the uh, lander module, and also the rover will be uh, built into it. Uh, it. After the launch, it takes about a week or so to get into the lunar orbit. Then after calibrating all the instruments, etc., after a month, by about August 23rd or so, we'll be ready for descent maneuver. The descent maneuver is going to be extremely difficult. We have to break the orbit of the moon. From there, make the, the spacecraft descend very slowly and touch down in a soft manner on the surface of the moon. After landing there, the rover will be uncovered and it will start moving around collecting samples, carrying out chemical analysis, thermal analysis, spectral analysis, and so on. So that will give us a confidence as to the findings, what we had from the Chandrayaan-1 as well as Chandrayaan-2 is concerned. So this mission, Chandrayaan-3, is going to be a proving ground for all the complex technologies which is required for uh, touching down on a, uh, a unknown territory uh, uh, as part of the planetary exploration and it is a small step towards the human presence of uh, uh, in the moon or the Mars.